everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Well, one of the biggest news items today is that X is leaving San Francisco, moving to Austin, Texas. But where might that be? I just happened to have recently toured the Bastrop site for the Boring Company. While I was there back in April, I found out that there was some additional construction for some large businesses coming in. And let's take a listen to what I said back then. I also learned that a new business unrelated to the Boring Company is going to be setting up an office space very close to the Hyperloop Plaza location that I'm at. And uh, some of these views here will give you an idea where that will be. Well, back when I made that video, I could not reveal what was going on. But now we know that both SpaceX is expanding the Starlink facility and also X is moving into this location. Here's some recent images and a map from S.E. Robinson Jr. from X. And this gives you the latest images that I know of of the construction that is going on here next to the Starlink facility and where he is taking the photos is standing in the area where the new X building may be built. So anyway, this is worth a, another look. So I think I will be getting into the drone and flying around this area soon to give you an update. Switching gears, I was recently interviewed by Andre. He is from the Czech Republic. He came out to the Boring Company site in Bastrop, Texas and brought a tour group from the Czech Republic with him. And we got a chance to talk about the Boring Company, Giga Texas, the activities that are going on over at Giga Texas with the Boring Company and a lot of other subjects. Now he put out a video, you can see the link at the bottom of the screen. It's also in the video description. And I would recommend that you take a look at that and uh, just see what all we talked about. And there's a lot of great information that's still pertinent to today. So take a look. And finally, to wrap up the introduction, just a reminder that next week, the 23rd of July, the second quarter financial results for Tesla will be revealed. They'll be hosting here at Giga Texas at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. That's the same as about 21.30 UTC. Now, on the Say account, they've already been sending out invitations to provide questions for the meeting. So take a look at that. Can't wait to hear how Tesla did in the second quarter. All right, let's get into the drone. Let's fly around and see what Giga Texas looks like today. If you would like to support my efforts, please consider using these links, which will be in the video description. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons on my YouTube video as this helps as well. Thank you. My drones are ready and raring to go. Let's go flying over Giga Texas. It's another beautiful morning here at Giga Texas with plenty of great visibility. So we're going to use that to our advantage. Starting here on the southeast side, some earthwork near where the intersection for River Road and Robotic Avenue will be. We see the median work with the trenching has had most of it filled in at the bottom of the screen. And that large clearing is being prepared for asphalt to add additional parking in this part of the facility. On the north side, we can tell that there's additional trench work on the northwest corner and by all of the vehicles on the ground floor you can kind of see them sticking out in that open section along the entire north end shows that at least a few of the floors are being used now which is a great to see at the bottom of the screen you can see that white and black bus that's part of the shuttle buses that are picking up the employees and taking them to their work location so that seems to be up and running as well now here at the River Road Extension, the glass company's workshop and materials have been relocated on the bottom left of the screen. The water detention pond that is lined also has a very nice fence around it now. And they're continuing to do work up on the shoulder of the pond. On the right hand side of the screen, we see those black and red recycling uh, trailers. That's for the scraps for the stamping machines. And here's a great view with awesome lighting inside the 
east side of the extension. Everything from the four tanks on the right, the temporary platform, many of the blue and white deliveries on the second floor, some of the interior walls and some of the studs waiting for the drywall to be installed and additional work to uh, prepare this whole section for operation. That section that has that tan wall is where the supercomputer cluster is going to be. The chiller plant or the cooling plant looks like it's definitely making progress on the ground level, the grates on the middle of the wall, and of course the fan units and crews are working on the motors for the fan units right now. I'm going to pause the video here, show you some images uh, that were taken by the Houston powder coaters, the people that are doing the powder coating of these large pipes. On the right hand side, you can see what it looks like on the ground level and also on the inside of the extension. You can also get a good view on the top of the second floor and all the beams that support it, the concrete uh, parts that are holding the pipes together and of course uh, some additional views of how all these pipes look on the inside of the building and as they exit here and completely go across this open section and then we'll connect in to the fan unit uh, cooler plant that we can see at the bottom of the screen and you can also tell by this image on the ground level on the inside some of the concrete has been poured that is over the section of those pipes that I showed you from the inside views. So I hope that this gives you a little more context in what all these uh, pipes look like, not only here in this gap between the extension and the cooling plant on the left, but also what it looks like on the inside, plus some additional views of the inside structure. As I continue to maneuver the drone here, looking down, the pipe installation has uh, really made a lot of progress. You can see where it bends up underneath the cooling plant and an additional pipe segment is waiting for its connection. Then there'll be more of those concrete bands that will help support the pipes and keep them from moving when the water is moving through them. So anyway, a great view here on the southeast corner of the activity with the cooling plant and the, the water pipes. As I bring the drone down here, we can get a good view of the rebar on the left and the preparations for that to be made into cages and then used for concrete. Through this view, a lot of the materials, especially those white boxes, uh, are very visible. Again, on the ground floor, you can see the newly poured slab section, which is over those pipes that I showed you and uh, some other views here of where the glass ends, the work on the first and second floor, and the activity here between the extension and the cooling plant. So as I continue to move the drone back, it's a really great view of this part of the site. Now here's a big change. Each of the uh, aprons that lead up into the three tunnels has now had forms and a mud base placed. They are uh, preparing this for the rebar and nearby here, we'll be able to see the rebar cages that are being assembled. On the bottom right are the ends of those screw type piers that were cut off. And as we continue to get closer to this middle tunnel, a very similar looking set of forms, the mud base, you can see the screw type pier uh, base is sticking up out of that mud base. And of course, all of the rebar that is being fashioned for the cages that will be in the uh, area here and poured with concrete to provide it a lot of strength and essentially make a pile cap. And here they're getting ready for more of the forms a similar uh, fashion as the other two tunnels. We also see the earthwork on the southwest side continues. More materials have been moved away to allow this earthwork to progress all the way through this triangular section. Even the uh, lighting has been moved away, so that gives me a chance to fly the drone in here and give you some closer views of this opening and uh, what the activity on the inside looks like, at least from this vantage point. More materials have been delivered on the inside as well, and on the glass, we can see the frames have continued to be installed uh, where the glass has been installed previously. As we get to the west side, 
A uh, few things of note, we see some deliveries of ice chests, those blue ones on the bottom, that's ice and drinks for the workers. And on the inside, just uh, a great view of all of the materials that have been delivered, some of the ducting work on the left that's being installed, some of the other materials on the top floor, that framed in section where the supercomputer cluster will be, and we can see the pipe manifolds going through that open section in the middle top of the screen. And that's those brown pipes that have the waters that go to that cooling plant. More of the walls have been installed here on the ground floor and in this section next to the concrete original walls. And we see some more trench work next to this uh, temporary platform. That blue box is uh, there to uh, uh, make sure that the tunnel does not collapse on the workers. And we can see some of the pipes at the bottom of the screen. Many cyber trucks are exiting the factory here today. Production is noticeably up for both the cyber trucks and the Model Y today, and we're going to see that on the west side in particular. This is a great view of all of the cyber trucks temporarily being stored here on the southwest corner, and more coming out of that exit point, which is uh, currently the point where the cyber trucks uh, come out of the factory. They're also all being driven over to the west side, a great uh, kind of a, a herd of cyber trucks heading that way, and we got a chance to see that as well. But that whole exit will be replaced by the boring tunnel here soon. As we come up onto the roof section, I just want to give you a quick look at the darker gray section where the uh, supercomputer cluster is on the bottom underneath there. Also see the cabling that is going through these rack mounts and going through those uh, kind of like ducting that goes into that part of the factory. And then we can see all of the uh, uh, cabling on top of these rack mounts that follow along this part of the building and then follow the parapet wall, the length of the building all the way up to the north end. And here's a, another good view of how all of this looks today uh, from the south end. And some additional materials have been brought up for the roof. So hopefully we'll start seeing those dark gray areas finished off. As I fly over the cyber pond, I'm going to bring the drone down here, give you a great view of the south uh, bridge area. And I'm also going to give you a comparison photo of three years ago, on 16th of July 2021 and this gives you a good view of what this area looked like back then. The bottom left you can see the steel corrugated pipes uh, in the ground on the left that's part of the drainage system and here again today we can tell that they've had the excavation in that same place and they're doing some rework of those pipes in this area. This is a great view of what they are doing. So anyway, the comparison photo not only shows you the pipe work and how they are continuing to work on that even now, three years later, but also hopefully it gives you a great view of uh, the work that has been done in this area to completely transform it to what we see now. So anyway, a great view across the highway to the West Support Facility, the Warehouse on Wheels, the End of Line Facility, and of course, a great view of the factory itself. As I resume the flight on the west side of the highway, I did notice this truck at the bottom of the screen. I'll follow it here. Two large ducting items are being moved over towards the east side. I suspected that these might be for the bag house plant on the east side of the casting machine structure, and that is exactly where they uh, are going. And we'll see those again later in the video. So this is a great view of this triangular kind of parking lot area that is now being used temporarily for material staging. A lot of the uh, dirt and gravel mix, some of the steel pipes on the left, concrete items as well. And as we uh, get the drone down lower and we see that uh, metal ramp on the right with some of the tunnel liners for the boring company, I wanted to give you a closer to the ground view of all of the dirt, give it a sense of how tall these dirt piles are and directly ahead, more of these steel items, some of which are being uh, delivered on the trucks, being stored here. And this suggests that we're going to see another large construction project beginning soon, maybe in this area. This clearing is getting some additional earthwork today. 
And that this is just a great, great view of what that looks like. Plus with the city of Austin downtown, uh, very prominent in the top, top part of the screen and kind of a great view of how this all looks and the proximity of this part of the site to the downtown area. Giving you a good view of this material storage location. All of these blue and white items on the ground are all part of what I think are new stamping presses. I'm not sure exactly where those will be installed, but they've been here waiting for installation for quite some time. Some mobile superchargers that we just passed over. These items are for the baghouse filtration plant as well. And we see much more of this items now over on the east side assembled on that uh, filtration plant than are stored here, which is great. I think those two tanks that we saw on the left will go uh, over there as well. Now, this is a good view of the TKS uh, paint system uh, trailer on the bottom and uh, some of the workshops for the pipes. We see the server room cooling units in the blue and white on the bottom of the screen. And then here is another Idra delivery in this crate. I showed you this uh, briefly in my previous video, but I wanted to get a closer view here, see if we could tell what it might be. But uh, it may be either spare parts or additional parts for one of the Idra machines. So as we cross back over the north-south road, this is a great view of the outbound lot, and it is significantly more busy, filled with vehicles, not only Cybertrucks, but a lot of Model Ys. And this is a great thing to see, and we think about the production ramp for both vehicles here at Giga Texas, especially considering that the shifts have now changed, as we discussed on my Monday video, where production is going to be Monday through Thursday, but 12-hour shifts from 6 to 6. This is a great view of just the activity that is on this entire side uh, next to the superchargers and the end-of-line facility as well. Now, we're going to fly to the north along the east side of the end-of-line facility, and I'm going to do this so you can get a good view, but also looking across the facility to the outbound lot and the number of vehicles. And finally, on this north end, what we're seeing is the operations for the end of line for, all, for both the Cybertruck and the Model Ys is in full force now. And what they do is they queue them up here coming from the factory. Then they are taken inside and the final end of line checks and verifications are done now here instead of over at the main factory. And we talked about that in a previous video as well as to the rationale why. But uh, nevertheless, this shows you that their operations are definitely underway and they are working out all the procedures and processes to make them as efficient as possible. A lot more Model Ys arriving right now. And that's part of that movement of the end of line processes to this facility. So anyway, a great overall view of the West Support facility and how it looks today. I'll stop briefly at this north uh, material staging with the two uh, easily seen tents, and some of the trailers and other equipment. It looks like it's uh, very busy here today. And this gives you a good view of where this is located in proximity to the end of line facility. <music>since we just saw the end of line facility and how that is working, I wanted to show you the model Ys and their exit point from the factory and how this now looks. You can see that those two black uh, ramps are still operational and the model Ys are exiting the factory here. Um, but much of the operations that normally took place here uh, have been relocated. Although from what I am hearing is they're going to continue to use this exit point in this manner for some time until perhaps we see some additional construction and some more uh, changes possibly with boring tunnels somewhere in the future, but not right now. As we continue to fly to the north, uh, just a good view of the fiber optic cable installation along the berm on the left. And you can see various points where there's work above the ground and that's going on. And we're gonna see some of the excavation work here soon. I was also stopping here to take a look at the deliveries and to see if there's any more recycled cans from the 4680s, but I did not see those today. As we cross over the road and we get close to this excavation point, I wanted to show you the work that is underway 
on this part of the uh, berm for those fiber optic cables. There is a small trench and they continue to do trenching along this grassy area and across Tesla Road, continuing on this side of the factory. But this is a great top-down view, uh, look at the work that they are doing. And it appears that they may be filling in the trench now and then restoring that concrete sidewalk. So as I get closer to the north end of the 4680, I'll turn towards the uh, uh, two ramps or the platforms. And we can see the temporary, semi-temporary, more like long-term wall panels that have been installed, including these for this receiving door. It looks like the texture is nearly completed, so we may see this uh, stained white to match the rest of the building in the near future. So I'm going to uh, pull away to the north across Tesla Road because I want to show you the work that's going on with conduit installation. <music> Stopping here, we can tell that the trench work has been filled in. We see those uh, conduit risers in those four groups. And as I mentioned before on the previous video, that suggests that we're going to see some kind of equipment installed here. But what that is, I'm not sure yet. And then this will connect to the south end of the electrical switchyard where the third transformer is slated to be installed. Here's a great view of the conduit next to Tesla Road how it is looking in the trenches and the concrete vaults right now. And then you can tell where it goes over the uh, underneath the Tesla road, underneath the landscaped section and the parking area. And this is what it looks like today. Uh, based on the progress between my previous video and now, the crews have done a lot of work getting the conduit installed. We also see a crane in action today. I'm going to give you a good view of what they are doing. It looks like a kind of a exhaust stack or smoke stack, if you want to call it, being hoisted up to the roof. And we'll follow it up to see where they are going to uh, put it temporarily. You can see similar ones already installed along the roof section nearby. And I think this is going to just continue this uh, reconfiguration work on the roof over the casting machine structure because of the ventilation system that has been added. And I expect to see some additional work on the roof for the flues of the furnaces that have been installed and inside as well. We also see brown uh, these gray pipes, similar but smaller than the brown pipes that we saw on the south end. And those are being prepared for installation. And a big change on this dirt section is another mud base that has been laid down. You can see the tops of the screw type piers. Uh, the mud base is put down before the rebar is uh, placed and that helps to protect it and ensure that it's put in properly. And then they will pour the concrete on top. And it looks like we're gonna have two new ramps and two new receiving doors once they are completed. Great view of the galvanized structure of the bag house filtration plant, the formwork on the left in that rectangle, the three square concrete slabs that have been put down, and some of the materials and equipment on the left-hand side of the screen that have been brought over from that west staging lot. This is a great top-down view of the installation of much of that equipment in these two vertical uh, structures, kind of like ventilation systems with ducting. And on the bottom uh, center of the screen, you can see those two large ducts that we saw on the truck on the west side going underneath the south bridge. They've now been delivered to this part of the facility. And with this zoom in, this gives you a great close-in view of all of the activity, the parts that are being assembled, some of the pump units on the bottom right in the gray, and overall how the bag house filtration plant looks today. As we fly towards the south along the east side, another great view of all of the castings that have been stockpiled here. And it's more of that dirt area by the five or six receiving doors that is being prepared for concrete. And as I fly over the 
former east testing calibration lot. We do see many more Model Ys and some cyber trucks here as well. So this is most likely uh, vehicles that uh, need some additional calibration or checkouts or maybe some other work done before they can go over to the west side outbound lot. But a great view overall of this part of the site and uh, more of the materials and that brown pipe for that south end cooling system on the ground and just a good look at this uh, area just north of the multi-level parking garage. As we continue to fly to the east, you can see the east warehouse on wheels on the right, a lot of the materials being stored in the center of the screen, some of the workshops on the left and right, and also more materials kind of uh, put out around this tree area, including some large steel items. These uh, trailers are for the contractors that are doing much of the construction work at Giga Texas. And then this on the bottom left is the Martin Marietta maintenance uh, facility for the batch plant that is still in operation just to the west of the dye shop. As we fly over the steel corrugated pipes and other materials on the bottom left and the uh, mobile kitchen, we can see a great view of the east side here of the, cast the cathode machine structure, the end of the crash test facility with it looks like a cyber truck doing some sort of crash testing and then on the cathode outside the wall we can see those three openings one of which has the yellow panels that's where we saw the steel studs with what appeared to be four openings being installed on my previous video now it looks like that's all been filled in although we do see four slots so it may have those four openings when completed on the left, on that larger opening, we can see more of the steel studs being added, so we can expect that to be filled in here soon. Great view of the wade pit, some of the trailers, and the cell testing lab on the bottom left of the screen, and some of the trailers around that facility. I'm going to point the drone to the west, and give you some view of what this northeast section looks like on the right, and also the a cathode plant on the left with those windows to the third floor office space and cafeteria. I did also notice that they are doing some more roof work here today, so I will give you a good zoom in. What it appears is that they're doing some work on the seams. Perhaps there was a leak or they're reconfiguring the weatherproof membrane for some additional equipment. But either way, this first time I've seen some sort of construction on the roof of this facility in some time. So bring the drone down here on the west side, get a good sense of how this looks today. There is a crane that's uh, getting ready for operation, and this is in that dirt section. And this great view of what it looks like today. It looks like maybe they're getting ready to pick up that yellow kind of basket on the left. Also, we see these portable chilling units and generators. Also, the yellow connectors that have been added into some of the pipework on the underside of the uh, chiller plant. So it's either some sort of testing or augmentation work that is going on for this site. And we'll continue to monitor this as I expect the chiller plant to uh, expand to the north into that dirt section in the near future. So that's a quick good view, I think, of Giga Texas here on this Wednesday. Great to see the production uh, for both Model Ys and Cybertrucks looking quite substantial today, which is uh, great to see. Plus, we can see how the parking lot looks as well. So as always, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Have a great day.